John F. Kennedy once said, let us think of education as the means of developing our greatest abilities because in each of us, there is a private hope and a dream which fulfilled can be translated into benefit for everyone and greater strength for our nation. Today we'll bring those preparing our youth for the 21st century in view. In the world of classical music, it seems that operas and orchestras are folding on a regular basis these days, leading some to speculate that classical music is dying. Though it's not becoming obsolete, it is changing. As the 21st century unfolds, musicians are searching for new paths and creating new models for careers. Classical music is having a crisis, remains a great art, but it's lost its audience over time. Audience has aged and shrunk. Crisis for the field, how do they adapt to contemporary culture and get a new audience in? One of the ways you address this is by training classical musicians differently so that they understand this is their mission. And DePauw is seriously, more seriously than any other place I've encountered, trying to address that. But where is this creative renaissance taking place? Where are the socially conscious artists going for the training to develop the voice, pulses, rhythms, beats, chords, and melodies waiting to come forward for the world to hear? Located about a half hour west of Indianapolis, in the quaint town of Greencastle, Indiana, sits a globally respected university with one of the first music schools established in America. The 21st Century Musician Initiative is rethinking the modern music school. It, this is a complete reimagining of what a music school in America today has to do to create the musician of the future instead of the musician of the past. These are flexible, entrepreneurial musicians. It used to be we trained musicians to land an orchestral gig and play with a single ensemble, one style of music, their entire career, and they were very successful at that. Not so much anymore. Now we're training musicians who have to be flexible and entrepreneurial. They might create their own jobs. Tonight it might be a chamber music group that they're performing with. Tomorrow an orchestra. The next day an opera company. The next day doing something in a school. So we're trying to create the musician of the 21st century, someone who's who's thinking ahead about what their daily life will be like. Still, still sharing the immense power of music, but doing it in an entrepreneurial and perhaps more of a grassroots way. Well, I recently graduated in 2013 in May. Um, and my experience as a student here, DePa taught me and gave me the skills how to be a well-rounded musician. We had a lot of guest artists come through, like Yo-Yo Ma, Time for Three, Project Trio, Canadian Brass. Um, the ISO has come twice a year for the past three years. And every time that we've had an opportunity to talk with the artists, get their take on the industry, get their take on 21st century music, and learn from them, learn where their mistakes were, learn where their greatest gains were. And by having those experiences and being able to talk with them one-on-one, -on -one, I really feel that it's given our students the edge on becoming not only well-rounded musicians, but well-rounded people. Judson Green, former president of Disney's theme parks and resorts, and his wife Joyce, board member of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, gave a lead gift of $15 million to support this new future for musical training. One of the things that Joyce and I ran across when we were here at DePaul was a quotation by Plato, and it moved us both. He once said, musical training is more potent than any other because rhythm and harmony find their way into the inward places of the soul. Another dimension of creating the 21st century musician is an awareness that music is a very powerful force in the lives of people and in the lives of communities. And that's recognized here at DePauw and the students are encouraged to think about their music's impact on other people. Schools that teach classical music have got to come down a little bit from the traditional classical music high horse and understand that they're part of a much wider culture that operates in different ways and by, with its own really high, interesting artistic standards, so they have to be more informal, more individual, and just more lively and reach out of their bubble and contact the rest of us. 
An important thing to remember is that classical music isn't dying, it's changing. And my experience here at DePauw and the experience that fellow students have had at DePauw and will continue to have is helping us learn how to change and adapt with 21st century music. To learn more about DePaul University School of Music, visit their website at www.depaul.edu forward slash music.